Welcome back, Chris Richter here from ricochet.com.au. We're uh, looking at another question which somebody asked recently, and that is, should I use H5P inside my Moodle LMS platform, or should I use H5P from h5p.com? If you're not sure what H5P is, please check out links below, and there should be a link there giving you some information about H5P and what it actually is. So I'm going to assume you already know what H5P is and we'll move on from there. The two options are, or the question is, should I use H5P in Moodle or H5P from h5p.com? Let's look at what each one of those are and what the context is before we look at which one is the better choice for you. Now, h5p.com is as opposed to h5p.org, which is where all the activities are developed and the, the demos are and all that type of thing. h5p.com is a paid service. And this is a service where you can create your H5P activities. They live inside H5P.com. You can develop them there. You can have teams working on them. There's a whole teams pricing type process which you can go into. You know, how many users will be creating it? How many learners would like to get reports? You can total up the cost per month. A typical team might be five developers and you might have in the thousands, um, say 3,000 Students, you'd be up for $161 per month. $1,932 per year, that's in US dollars. So that's what uh, H5P is. It's a way of storing it and it has everything all connected to your platform or it can be connected to your Moodle platform. So there's integrations that connect to not just Moodle, but Canvas, Brightspace, Blackboard, Sakai, OpenEdX and Moodle. So it's quite clever, user-friendly. It keeps everything in one place and that's where all your H5P lives. The opposite to that is having H5P inside your actual platform itself and this is where we go into the content bank and inside the content bank is where all of your h5p activities live you create them you put them in there you store them there and they live inside your moodle application and you can link them into your content however you need to inside your moodle platform here's the pros and cons and the benefits or the differences i should say between each and you can decide which are pros and cons for you. So obviously the first difference is location. So the H5P file or activity when it's in Moodle is stored inside the Moodle LMS. So that means you have control of it. It lives in your space, in your environment where you're using it with the Moodle LMS. But there may be situations where you don't want that in there. Can you get it out of here? Yes, you can. Any of the H5P activities can be exported and imported into another platform. On the other hand, if you have it in H5P, then it is stored on someone else's server. Yes, you pay for it, so there is the disadvantage of that, but at least it is in a system where you can use it in any of your other platforms all at the one time. So it becomes more central. That jumps to our next part, which is portability. So how portable is it? Like I said, if it's in H5P.com, and you're embedding your content like a video. So if you want to look at it that way, H5P becomes like a YouTube video. So H5P becomes YouTube for interactive content. You can then embed your content in your platform from H5P. It's quite simple. It's it's fairly portable. You can also export from H5P.com as well. You can export from your Moodle platform. So in terms of portability, both of them give you a sense of that in that you can export and transfer things. But H5P.com gives you the control over one version that can be shared across multiple platforms or multiple LMSs as opposed to having the activities living in each platform that you have if you have multiple platforms. So if that's irrelevant to you, then that might not matter at all. In terms of portability, either one sort of works fine. Speed is another thing though. H5P has a lot of files and a lot of bits and moving parts in it. When you go to view a H5P file, it has all of this extra JavaScript and framework files that go with it and all sorts of things. That becomes an added load onto your server if you have your H5P sitting inside Moodle. Those extra files and everything, in this case, if you look at just a document, it's 715K, which is not big. It's That's fairly small, it's quite reasonable. But as your activities grow, the types of activities and more content goes in them, it all means it's extra load on your server as well. If you are looking at it from a speed improvement, you may find that h5p.com, which stores all of the h5p content on its servers and scales automatically when it needs to, might be a better choice if you're trying to reduce the amount of load on your server on your platform. So there may be a speed gain that you can get from that. Remembering now that whenever h5p is embedded, it really is just an iframe inside the content, that's how it works. It's really like loading another page anyway from some other server, but if your H5P is on your 
Moodle server, then you're loading it from your server. So you've sort of got that double whammy of both the page loading and the H5P loading inside that. Now, the last thing is the ability to update. If you keep your H5P content inside h5p.com and you share it across multiple platforms or even across the one platform, the one resource or the one activity can be used multiple times everywhere in multiple platforms and you only have to update one version of that. If there's a mistake or there's a correction or there's a change you need to make for the activity, it gets carried across everything rather than the context of if you go into the content bank in your one middle server and you create H5P content, then often somebody else grabs that and wants to use it and they might make a copy of that instead as opposed to actually reusing the one version. Well, let's say you're using your platform or multiple platforms, you want to use the same interactive activity. You have to transfer that between Moodle platforms or versions of the platform or your other LMSs if you have others. So it may become really, really messy for you with those H5P files being embedded potentially in all those different locations. You may find it easier for H5P.com to have the one master version that everybody uses and you only have to update that once whenever there's an issue or a fix or something that needs to be applied rather than multiple times in multiple courses with multiple versions of that particular activity. That's nearly all the things, but there's one other thing and that is obviously cost. And the cost will be the H5P cost depending on the number of users, the number of learners that will be accessing content. Now this is only for drill down reports, which is optional. So you can actually turn that bit off and you're only paying for the number of content creators or licenses used to access the platform, which could mean it could be down as low as, you know, one or two. It's a minimum of three. So that still gives you 684 per year in US dollars. There still is the added cost of that, whereas the cost of using that inside your own platform is only the cost of your own platform or whatever that costs for you to host that. So they're all the important things to look at. Now, which is better for you? Well, it completely depends. If you've got the dollars and you're happy to spend it and you think it will be beneficial for you because you may be jumping between platforms or you want to have one single repository of all of your H5P content, then H5P.com will definitely suit you. If you're running lots and lots of students uh, with a lot of H5P content and you want to take the load off of your server, then H5P.com again is a, a better solution for you in that sense. In terms of portability, if you do have or are potentially thinking that you may be jumping to another platform in the future, then H5P.com again might be a really simple solution to make sure that you've got all of at least your H5P sorted. And that way, if you do transfer to another platform, you don't have to worry about the H5P component part of it or all the issues of versioning and, and the content or H5P content being inside the LMS. You only have to transfer the LMS content without the H5P and it will just be automatically embedded back in there when you transfer it to the new platform. Hopefully that's been a little bit helpful to you and you're starting to understand the difference between the two. If you've got any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. I'd love to help you out. My name is Chris Richter from ricochet.com.au and I will talk to you again very soon.